Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the militia strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. 
Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Uh-huh. Have you noticed how Andres has started working out on the deodorant? That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 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 Yeah. of the new plant has been stalled for days now because of what they found there. She needs him to cleanse the place. But why do I have to go get him? Ha! So, Andrea... You know, ...getting a rush from touching all the poisonous plants he grows in there? Or growing your fresh... ...and let it go. Let the moment, friends. Let the sounds and lights... Spirits. Another traveler finds his way here in search of a spiritual release. Come on in, my friend. Feel free to join us. Everyone is a leader. Oh, 
So, so they're literally blind? I, I could do all kinds of things in front of them, and they wouldn't see anything? Their vision has turned inwards. Yes. Oh. Are you ready to try it out yourself? Oh. I'm getting all kinds of ideas here. Hey, you don't happen to have a magic marker, do you? Hmm. They don't call me the prank master for nothing. I'm afraid not. Damn it. Straight out to all my social channels. Where? Hey, smile, bro. Good to see you here. Your mother thanks me to die. Fortunate work. Well, well. The famous shaman decides to show up after all. I'm pleased to finally put a face to the myth. I was beginning to think you didn't exist, what with your not replying to any of my inquiries. I've been looking forward to meeting you, Miss Martinez. Wow. All right. I need you to get over to the construction site on the outskirts of the village. The workers there uncovered a pile of old bones and they've taken the opportunity to grab some undeserved recreational time. I need you to go over there as soon as possible and wave your magic wand or do an interpreting dance or whatever it is. You do. I can do that. You can walk with me if you don't know the way. Otherwise, I'll see you there. Just don't take too long. All right. I guess we'll meet up at the site. Side in some time, actually. It'll be good to get to see the new equipment. It was certainly expensive. Do you know how hard it is to transport a cutting edge brand new cement mixer and pour around in the jungle? Very. I can only imagine, Miss Martinez. How they had 15 guys in lockup in Mala 
and yet all of them work two hours after bringing up here. That's only half the story. I'm happy you finally came around. Mr. Delgado will be pleased. I understand he's not an easy man to relate to. Trust me, I know exactly where you're coming from. And he can be quite volatile at times. Maybe that's why he lets me handle most of the uh, external conversations. Between you and me, Rico could probably do with a spiritual cleansing himself. I'll see what I can do about that. Working with the Delgado business has advantages like that. when people stand too close to me. You mind taking a couple of steps back, eh? Taita, so good to finally have you here. You have been sorely missed. Happy to be here. So, uh, here's the problem. We're digging some holes for this foundation. Now, we come across these, well, bogos, I guess. Turns out they're human, and the workers seem to think they're part of some old grave. Sounds likely. Where you go, no? Can, can help us out? I'll do my best. Excelente. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. The site is clean now. Looking good, man. Looking good. It is. Taita. It was a beautiful Excellent. Ritual. Thank you. A beautiful ritual. I could genuinely feel the spirits bless the worthwhile endeavor of your There are these now. Expertly moved onto the afterlife. Here's no menta. Winter sea. <laughs> Nicely done. Looks like the foreman is going to tour the site and show some of the machinery to Andrea Martinez. This might be your chance, 47. I am eager to get this site. Another spot, 
My husband nearly lost his arm when that winch broke, but I think he's on the mill now. He got lucky, I guess. So what happened? He said it's better if I so. don't know. So then Gao Cartel is very sensitive around it. Some sort of secret project. I think they're building something big down in the caves. The problem is he's a central to the project, and now we have sicarios hanging around our house. They wanted to go back as soon as possible. Sounds like you have a lot on your plate. Tell me about it. I've got to go home and finish the washing. I'll see you tomorrow. I heal quickly. It's nice to see you again. Here's the key to
cave system with a submarine. This must be what ties the militia and the cartel together, 47. I'm ready for the demo. Can you call Rico, please? Okay, amigo. I get right to you. Well, the took me the caves. All I'm ready for the demo. Come on down, man. Delgado will want to see this beast in action, up close and personal. the cargo capacity of the submersible to the required specifications, Mr. Delgado. So, theoretically speaking, how many armed men could we ship around in this thing? On top of all the drugs we'll be exporting worldwide. Around six, sir. Ten tons of pure white and six soldiers. <laughs> that is truly something else. It's like a submersible party bus, sir.
Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. So,
battalion is making me killing it. Practically destroying the entire competition. Stop on the street now. Here's a thing on a real deal. As I look in your shop, I think the weapon you will be capable of blowing gas <laughs> Time to bring Franco down to size. Uh, uh. Huh? The machine is working now? We need to get out. Hey, 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 step back. Let me deal with this, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Look at that. It runs again. Look at how smoothly it's running.
That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Looking good, man. Looking good. 